G'day and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. I haven't gotten out of bed yet. Um, it's weird how time works like that. Um, welcome to May 7th, 2020, 2024, Mathrax again. Uh, Episode 5, The Mathrax Strikes Back, uh, will be the subtitle for this puzzle. Um, but uh, this is by Clover. My name is Bill Murphy. I set and solve Sudoku puzzles. Um, so does Clover. So does Philip. We are. I don't know if I like the nickname, but hey, it's fine. Uh, the Gas Giants. Um, Dibs. <sighs> I want to say Dibs Neptune. Because, you know, everyone loves Neptune because of that blue color, but I recently found out that Neptune is not as blue as you think it is, uh, which is a wild fact. Um, but yeah, we create genuinely approachable Sudoku. Uh, you can find the link for this puzzle in the description. But if you solved this uh, previous puzzle I did, you might be familiar with Mathrax. Um, you also find hat times in the description. Uh, hat times are a way of measuring your progress. Uh, but as long as you complete the puzzle, we just, we, we like you having fun. Uh, but some people care about, you know, relative time. So two hats is a very fast time. One hat is a pretty fast time. And everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Um, but yeah, let's jump into math racks. So, uh, normal circle rules apply. Digits one to nine must go in every row, uh, column, and box. Sorry, I've just highlighted e everything and just said the wrong words every time. So that's impressive from me. Now, um, this one, I have not actually, I did not test this one. So I can't wait to see what I have not done. This is gonna be fun. Um, so some of the circles in this puzzle have a number and a plus. When you have a number and a plus, uh, both of the digits around the circle must sum to the same total. So this could be two and eight, but this might be five and five as an example, because both of those will sum to 10. Now, uh, however, if a circle contains an E, then this must have all four even digits. That's pretty interesting. Um, I'm spotting some things in this puzzle already. Uh, but uh, with that said, the puzzle is in, uh, sorry, the puzzle is in the description. You should probably give this a go. Then you can come watch me stumble through this. All right, so let's start off with what we know. One and four is a, uh, one and four is make five. Uh, this must be two and three because we know that these four cells must be even. Now this is six and eight. Ah, and because, uh, no, we can't do the uh, five trick because of the exact case that I mentioned earlier, but this is five, seven, and nine. Uh, ooh, that is interesting. We know that five must go in these two cells, so there must be a five in these two cells. Um, for what it's worth, we know these are one, three, and five. Now let's go over here. This must be two. And now these are four, six, and eight. Uh, but this can't be four because we know that we've got a four over there. And we also know that this can't be eight because we have a one over here and we wouldn't be able to put eight in there. So this is six and three. Putting that like that. Uh, that six was all these cells for us, which is lovely. And this becomes one, five, and nine. We know that nine must be in this cell because uh, we can't have a negative integer in a Sudoku puzzle. Um, but just wait till next year's April Fool's Day when I do that nonsense. Um, so we need to put a three in one of the two cells because five and three make eight. Three must go down here, meaning that this is a seven. Sorry, I did math wrong there. And a five. Three and six and one and eight make nine. Let's go up here now. This is four, which resolves this eight and four. Uh, and we need to make seven. So the only way that this works is if this is two or six. This two tells us that this must be six and one. And now this is two and eight. Uh, five, seven, and nine left to place in the box. Uh, five and nine tells which way, uh, that that must be seven, that must be five, and that's pretty cute. Clover, you love that. You love that. All right. 
Um, I'll back up, sorry. Uh, that seven uh, puts a five in this, and now this cell sees both the five and seven, it must be nine. Um, so uh, we need to place three and four, but nine and three must make four, so that becomes our four. Uh, let's go over here now. This has to be six and two four and nine left to place what well, uh sorry two four and eight left to place for even digits um this cell sees two and four up here so this must be eight uh four over here tells us that this must be four and oh sorry other way around do you do that while solving sudoku i do that more often than I would like to admit, uh, where you're like, I can't put that digit in this puzzle, so it goes there, obviously. Uh, now, this is 1, 3, and 7, which is going to do a bajillion points of damage up here. This, uh, this has to be our 5, so this is our 5, and because this must contain a 7, in some spot, this is now nine and one and seven. Uh, this can't contain a seven, uh, this can't contain a one, and this can't contain a three. Now, uh, can we rule something out here? Yes, this can't be three, because if that was three, I would need to place a five there. Um, and I can't place a five there, because I scanned there and found that, but then I've just remembered that these four cells must contain only one, two, three, or four, um, which, you know, however you find it, it works. So I'll put a seven and a one and a three. This is one, this is five. Now this must be four and two. That's all of our uh, math racks done. Let's do some Sudoku. Uh, three and, uh, well, let's put a two in, that feels about right. Uh, two and six to place here, that's two, that's six. Uh, this must be one and nine. Uh, four, five, and eight, we can't quite resolve just yet. Five and eight. Uh, this is one and seven. We know which way around these go because of this one. So that's one, that's seven. Uh, two, eight, and nine to place. We can do a two. And that's an eight and a nine. Uh, two and six to place down here. We can do that. Because uh, that two. This three. Three and nine. Uh, four, seven, and eight left to place. We can put a four up there. So we'll take five out of there. And this is seven and eight. Uh, three and six to go here. Three and six. Oh, no, not three and six. Well, that's definitely a three. What am I missing? It's a seven. Uh, so six, eight, and nine left to place up here. That's nine. So we need to place a six and an eight. Uh, so we need to put some digits in uh, the center box until something resolves itself. So we'll put a three in because we have eight threes uh and that's a four so eight four seven eight uh this is one and six which will do the rest of the damage we need so this has been math racks again by clover um Say, uh, don't forget to uh, pick your favorite Mathrax puzzles um, from Clover. We do not necessarily advocate pitting puzzles against all puzzlers against each other, uh, but you are allowed to have a favorite child, I've been told. Anyway, wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Cheers.